My name is Sarah Holt. I'm a professor of mathematics in the Department of Economics, Maths and Statistics here, and I'm also head of department. So I went to Oxford University in 93 to 96, and then uh, I went to Manchester and did a master's in maths because I wasn't quite sure whether I wanted to continue in academia, so I thought I'll do a master's to decide. And so I did a master's, it went well. I stayed there for a PhD, and then, so this is still in Manchester, then um, I applied for postdoctoral research. So I got an EPSLC uh, fellowship for two years, and then I had a couple of other postdoctoral uh, things, followed by a temporary lectureship, and then I thought it's time to get a permanent job, so I applied for lots of jobs in, in Britain uh, that year, 2004, and I got one at Birkbeck. So I came to Birkbeck in 2004, been here ever since, um, and then over, over time I was promoted, so I became senior lecturer in 2008, reader in 2010, professor in 2013. Yeah, so that's what happened, and now here we are. <laughs> I think, yes, I, I've had a successful career. I think um, I've achieved a lot of the things I wanted to achieve. So one big milestone was becoming a professor before the age of 40, which is you know, quite a, an unusual thing, and I was very proud to do that. Along the way, I've produced some research papers that I'm really proud of with you know, interesting mathematics in them. I've also started to have PhD students, and they are people I'm, I'm sort of helping to get started in the world of research. So to see them, them learning and becoming more independent thinkers and researchers themselves is very rewarding. Um, I also love teaching, so part of my job is teaching as well as the research. So I teach undergraduate students and, and master's students, and I see them go through their student journey and they're gaining confidence as they go, and they, they say to me, and I get lots of positive feedback about my teaching, which I'm proud of, and you know that they are, they are acquiring the skills mathematically that enable them to go on either to further study or to go out into the world and use their mathematics. And so that's, that's for me, it's a great thing that, that more people are learning maths and that if I can inspire people to, to see the greatness of mathematics and the, the beauty of the subject, then that's all to the good. Um, another one of my activities that I do, I do quite a lot of what you might call outreach uh, work. So I go into schools and talk to people. Um, I give public lectures and, you know, with kids, the youngest group of kids I've worked with, they were four years old and we had a lovely session about shapes and symmetry and things like this and going all the way through to six formers. And, you know, for me, sharing the beauty of mathematics and the power of mathematics is just wonderful because, you know, it's something I really, really love. It's so important that, that everybody can appreciate this, this subject. Um, then, and if I can contribute to that, then that makes me really happy. So I think all those things together are things that I'm, I'm proud of having done and, and so that's why I think you know, it's a successful career. I think there are many factors that kind of helped me along the way. Um, a big one is supportive mentor figures, not necessarily official mentors, but people who've kind of given me guidance or given me the confidence to go for the next step. So my PhD supervisor, um, I wasn't necessarily thinking about doing a PhD, but he was one of the lecturers on my MSc program, and he approached me and said, have you considered doing a PhD? And I said, oh, I don't know. And then he said, go on, you should do one, I'll be your supervisor. I said, okay, you know, if you think so. <laughs> so I don't, it wouldn't necessarily have had the confidence to just, you know, approach one of the lecturers myself, unless they came to me first. So that was really good. That started me off along the way. And then, you know, people would say, oh, you should apply for this, you should apply for that. So I think that kind of encouragement and giving me the confidence that someone says, I believe in you, I think you can do this, that's a very powerful thing. Um, I did have some mentoring as part of a program up at, at UMIST, which is part of the University of Manchester, and that's why I went to talk to a professor in, in a different department in computer science, and she, um, well, she was a woman, and then she was a professor, so this is a, an, an example of this happening. So she gave me um, helpful advice, but also just the fact that she existed was, <laughs> was inspirational. Um, there was a, a woman professor when I was an undergraduate um, who was my tutor for some courses, Frances Kerwin, who's a very eminent mathematician, um, fellow of the Royal Society, she's you know, a pretty amazing mathematician. And again, she was, she didn't formally mentor me, but she just was there doing her thing. She had children, she had maternity leave while I was there, and she was just getting on with it. And you know, it was an example of someone 
they weren't being held back or anything like this by being a woman. They were just doing their thing and getting on with it. So that was great. And then also here at Birkbeck, my head of department, when I arrived, um, was Anne Seibert and she, she told me, you should apply for a promotion. And I was shocked at this, what, me, you know, again. And I, but I did it because she said, yes, you should. You're good enough, you know, I, I'm experienced. I know, you, you should apply. And so I did apply and that's, you know, started that progression of a promotion which is sort of leading to where we are so all along the way I've had people who've given me that little push to say yes do this do this and I think now I'm at a point where maybe <laughs> I now am confident and I can say yes I will apply for this and I don't need someone to tell me to do it because I perhaps have realized that you know I, I, I can get these things I you know apply for research funding I apply for these things now and you know I've kind of I've become <laughs> independent maybe <laughs> and able to make those decisions and say yes yeah, you know, I, I, if not me, who, right? That that's the thing, apply for something. Yes, there are lots of candidates. You may not get it, but you may get it. And if you don't get it, just apply again next time. So, you know, that learning that lesson has taken a lot of time, a lot of helpful people. I've also had a lot of support from, from my family. So my husband is great. You know, he takes, he does his share of the childcare. So, you know, we all muck in at home and, and we all work together to, to allow everyone in the family to, to do what they want to do. So that's also a really, really big help. Yeah. I think the, the biggest piece of advice is to not fear failure, right? So, so try lots of different things. If you think an opportunity sounds interesting, go for it. Maybe it won't work, maybe it will work, but if you don't take the risk, you never find out. And I suppose I, I, everybody feels that they're just muddling through and that maybe, you know, <laughs> how did I manage to convince people that I'm really good? It's just me kind of thing. Lots of people feel like that. And the more people you talk to, the more you discover we're all just sort of pretending to be grown-ups and <laughs> muddling through our lives. Well, that's okay. You know, that's the great secret of being an adult. Everyone's just winging it all the way along. And so if, if, you, if you're 20 years old and you're thinking, I don't know if I got the ability to do this or I don't know if I can manage this, this challenge, you probably can, and probably all the other people around you are also having those doubts. So that the facade you see with the other people project, if you know you think everyone else is confident and you're not, actually we're all the same usually, and and we're all we're all struggling with the same kind of issues. And if you just keep trying, then then you'll get there basically. So I think that that's the advice: just keep going for things. Don't be afraid of risk. Don't be afraid of failure. That's my advice.